you know, I should really do an episode or like on well yeah an episode on the chronicles of narnia series like book versus movie because i really enjoyed the first and the second one i haven't watched the third one which i plan on watching but i should really do i think one of the episodes on that but yeah um anyway welcome to today's video um and today's video is going to be about me uh talking to you about my April TBR to be read so yes Ding. um okay so last month I had a long TBR you could say and I read at the beginning of the month a lot like I was like constantly reading and I read three books but I mm, might have missed a few ones so this month i have to start and finish these books so one the midnight library which i am currently reading by mad haig uh, i am on currently on page 90. i will be reading this probably right after i finish filming this video it is really good up until now it has a very um, interesting theme like it's very philosophical you could say but it's also in a way very mystical because as I said last video it involved or well my last TBR it involves a magical library that is between life and death and in this library you get to you could say try out other potential lives you could have lived and it's pretty interesting. I am current my the main character right now has tested maybe one or two, but um, she also um, she like has a lot of baggage, which is really interesting. So yeah. Uh, next book I have to continue reading and finish is Prince Caspian by C.S. Lewis, the second book published in the Chronicles of Narnia series. So, I started reading P Prince Caspian in February. Never finished it though. Uh, I just got, I started reading and then, I, and then I just stopped, which is weird. But I am looking forward to finishing it because I watched the movie and it was really good <laughs> like really good i really enjoyed watching the first two movies in the chronicles of narnia series they were really good now like and i watched them before i read the books now that i read the books they're pretty similar you pretty similar well up until now with prince caspian and with the last one it was pretty similar too so yeah um next book i have to well this book I have to actually start which is the chronicles of narnia the voyage of don treater by c.s lewis which is the third book published in the chronicles of narnia series and i believe it is the last book for now that will include the pevensey siblings so if you didn't know, which I'm going to explain now, the Chronicles of Narnia, or at least the first three books published, follow the Pevensey children who um, travel to this magical world of Narnia that only children are allowed to travel to. And they go through many adventures in this magical land. In the first one, it is basically about the discovery of this new world. Um, they slowly discover it and learn all about it. And then in book two, which I haven't continued reading, but in the movie, it was more about saving it, you could say. And I'm really excited to see the three one, uh, the third one, read the third one, um, and see the third movie. But um, yes, I believe it is the third, The this is like the last one for a while that will include the pregnancy children. So yeah bit bittersweet i really like those characters so yeah um anyway those were the three that i did not read last month or didn't finish reading last month 
And now I will be talking about the ones that I plan on buying to read this month, which are Percy Jackson the and the Titans. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Olympians and the, Tit the Titans Curse by Rick Rorian. So it is the third book in the Percy Jackson saga series franchise. Um, and I really enjoyed book one and book two. Book two really left a pretty big cliffhanger and threw like a new variable into the equation to the formula. So really excited to see how that plays out. Also excited to see just this characters. I really love the characters. I've got to say one of my favorite things about what I've read about these books. Well, it belongs to these books that I've read is like probably the characters. Oh, they're just so amazing. But yeah. Uh, what I know from this is just I haven't really read the description. I just know it involves um, it. It really puts into question things and I, from what I've read, because I read like um, the first few pages of the book because they have it in the Sea of Monsters book. So, yeah, um, which is this one. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, um, I read a few, pa a few pages of the book just to, you know, see. And it, it really puts into question uh, things about like leadership and roles and um just overall what's gonna happen with percy and the prophecy so yeah um so oh uh, yeah the, the other other book i plan on buying and reading is scarlet by marissa mayer so i read cinder in February and it was really good and I really want to know what happens in the next book because this one left a pretty big cliffhanger so I'm just waiting for to read Scarlet because <laughs> I just want to know what happens to our main character so really excited to continue the Lunar Chronicles um what I know about Scarlet Ugh. I don't think I like I know, but I okay. What I do know is it follows this girl called Scarlet, who is a bit older than Cinder, and she has to find. She um, you could say goes through a few things. Uh, I believe so or okay so basically what I know because I did read uh, the first chapter for the series uh, for the next book because it's again they have sometimes books have the chapters of the following one to put it but um, yeah okay so here's the description that they have so here they have like and then a few of the, ch of the pages from the book so it says scarlet benoit's grandmother is missing gone under mysterious circumstances so when scarlet encounters a wolf a street fighter who may have information as to her mother's where, grandmother's whereabouts she is loath to trust him but as it turns out there are many things scarlet doesn't know about her grandmother or the grave danger she has lived in her whole life boom so yeah i'm really excited to read this book because I just want to know what happens to Cinder, and I really want to continue this story. It was really, it left on a pretty big cliffhanger, so I'm just looking forward to that. And yeah, that was, that's it for this TBR. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're excited as much as I am uh, for these books. So yeah, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.